Back at the lab where Trojans Live is brought to you by Hyundai, proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere. We're not talking football, though. We're talking about the real champs at USC, the now six-time reigning national champions. We have Kostis Genadunius and Rex Butler nice. here. You got that right twice. I, know, I basically <laughs> speak Greek at this point. I mean, it's just a, it's amazing. You know, you know we, we, we hustled you guys over here because you're coming right from practice, so maybe the question answers itself, but... What is the culture of this program that the word complacency doesn't seem to exist and you guys just keep collecting rings? Um, you know what? Our coach doesn't really allow us to be complacent. I have met him. I'm not surprised by that. He's on top of us <laughs> every day, you know, every single minute during practice. So, you know, and we like winning, you know, <laughs> who doesn't? And that's what we do. We like winning championships. You know, Rex, you guys are two of the six returning starters. It's a really youthful team that you guys have this year. Um, what kind of leadership role are you guys taking, you know, coming back, having that national championship ship, ship, ship experience and having to have so many young guys on the team coming in? Uh, well, I feel like we just got to um, really help bring them along so that when hopefully after we win this year that they're going to be able to continue that tradition of winning and uh, really just staying on top of them, make sure they, they know the playbook and um, really just taking a general leadership role. You know, this guy, he was a star from day one. You had to work for it a little bit. I mean, how hard is it in, in this program, Tris, trying to carve out your own spot? And, you know, you finally really broke through last year. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's um, it's tough. It takes a lot of hard work, especially um, when you're coming in. Like, I wasn't really expected to uh, be, like, a, a major star <laughs> like this guy. Um, I came in as a freshman. Uh, I thought I was going to redshirt. They wanted me to play. And then I ended up redshirting my sophomore year. Um, you, cl you claim four rings or three in that case? I, I actually claim, like, really one. Because okay. last, year, <laughs> Got last it. year was... But you own I, all of them. Yeah, I mean, I have them, but... But you, you wear know. one with pride. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was there every day in practice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> he <came> for. <laughs> hey, Coach, just, you know, when I read your bio, it says you're from Athens, Greece. Now, my first question is, how big is water polo in Athens, Greece? Um, it's definitely bigger than here, but it's not the most popular sport. Okay. Soccer and basketball are more popular. Water polo comes like third and fourth with volleyball but you know um there's a couple of teams who are pretty popular you know the fan base from they have the same same teams from water polo basketball and soccer they have the same name so the fan base is there and you know when it's the finals it can get big is the goal to try you know when you're growing up in high school and stuff and playing club or whatever it was is the goal to come to the united states and play for you know a top university um not really no i just uh Unlike most of the the other kids in Greece, I attended uh, American high school, okay, so interna international high school. So I just found out about USC, and that was immediately my number one choice. That's recruiting. <laughs> <laughs> Your recruiting story is crazy, isn't it? Though, didn't you basically call Yovan and I, say, "I'm yes. really good at this"? I I, I, I emailed <laughs> him first, and uh, you know, in the beginning, he didn't really. I didn't convince him, but. <laughs> Uh, after European Championship, I had a really good performance, and uh, I emailed him back, and he called me immediately. He just asked for my number, and I got a call immediately. You're going to have to put up a number to do it, but you're certainly capable of doing it. What would it mean to you if you could break the school scoring record, which was set by Jovan Sun, your teammate Nikola Vavich, last year? Um, it is one of my goals, but it's not as important as uh, winning another championship. And, you know, Rex, when I looked at your bio, one of the things that said, after you're done here at SC, you want to play professionally in Hungary. Why? And how did you pick it? Why is that one of the goals? Um, well, actually, I mean, it's kind of, my goals have kind of changed now. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody updated his bio. Yeah, right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, uh, when I came in, I wanted um, to play in Hungary because I had a few friends that were over there that were playing. And uh, I spent some time over there visiting them, and I thought it was a cool place, and I wanted to live there and wanted to continue playing but um they hated it they moved on now yeah, you want to go to place yeah. else okay <laughs> exactly <laughs> theoretically there should be a drop off because uh, uh, it's a big goalie sport and you lost an all-american in james clark but i'm hearing pretty good things about this monster mcquinn baron i don't know what's he six seven six eight i mean he's six nine six yeah, nine <laughs> maybe you can help out the basketball team uh you know how good is this kid just a freshman comes in he already is playing for team usa yeah he's uh he's incredible um I think he's already better as a freshman than our past two goalies that we've had. <laughs> um, not to knock them down or anything. Um, Paging Joel Dennerly? Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> he's here this week, so I'm sure I'll hear about it. <laughs> 
Well, we're looking forward to watching you guys again. Uh, these guys, you can check them out at the Utang Zoo Aquatic Center. It is a really fun sport to watch. It's a nice sort of tidy, like, hour-long sport, JJ. You get it in. A great atmosphere out there. One of the best things I've ever been to is when seeing you guys win the national championship over UCLA uh, there a couple years ago. So looking forward to doing that again. And remember, fans, game on. Make your move today to the Lorenzo, the most talked-about apartment community at the University of Southern California. Upscale student living is waiting for you. Hurry. Spaces are going fast. Don't miss out. Immediate occupancy. Visit the, the, the Lorenzo.com or call 213-863-4307. One more big segment coming up.